So here I'm going to be working on doing some hatch line work, cross hatch work, how to use post-it notes to mass area that I don't want the hatch work to get to, and also where I use a whiteout, whiteout gel pen to cover up some of the areas. So without further ado, here it goes. So here's our work I created for Marvel Comics X-Men Blue, issue number nine for Marvel Comics. I'm doing the inking. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I do hatch lines and cross hatch line. But first, let's do the hatch lines. When you hatch lines, you want those lines to be parallel to each other. Parallel to each other and spaced evenly apart to each other as evenly as you can. Here, you notice I placed a post-it note there. I'll explain the post-it note later. But as I'm doing these cross hatch lines, notice the boxes that I'm creating inside those cross hatch. You want those boxes to be somewhat even to each other, meaning one box is the same size as another box in another area. That's how you can you can do a good cross hatch lines. Now this pin I'm using is called the Secura Pigment Sensei Micron. It's a it's an okay micron, uh, not one that I would use, but this pen, what it is is this micron, it it's kind of scratchy. So for this page I'm doing the backgrounds, the columns that I'm making. So I don't want the details on these lines to be very clear. So because this pen is scratchy, I'm able to ink these cross hatch lines and then when the artwork is done, you see that this pushes the details further towards the back. When you're inking, you also have to think about foreground, middle ground, and background. Uh, towards the end of the video, you can see how this cross hatch uh, is not as detailed as some of the other micron work in the front. So here's more cross hatching. Now, notice the post note on the top and on the bottom. The reason I put the post notes there is so I can mask areas off that I don't want the lines to be. Now, when you're inking or hatching, Without the post note, you have to figure out where to start and where to end. You have to control the pin. Like right now, when I get to this area, I'm slowing down a little bit so I don't over overdraw that line. Like right there, that white area, I'm slowing down a little bit. But with the post note, you can go by zoom really quick, really quick, and just all you're concentrating on the distance. Now here, I'm using a white gel pin. Now this white gel pin is the Signal Uniball pin. This is a really nice white gel pin where you can use it to correct mistakes or special effects or creating white lines on top of black ink. Now back to the cross hatching here. Again, spacing them apart evenly. And then when you cross hatch, you want those little boxes in between the cross hatch lines to be somewhat the same. Now, if you did this in a different angle, boxes will become a diamond. So you want those diamonds to be somewhat similar throughout the whole page. So here, all the hatch work is uh, fairly done. Now on top of the, uh, right there, now I'm adding a double line here. Now that's uh, some hatch lines. The reason I'm adding a double line there is I'm gonna go back and fill in the little triangles with black. Now, if you just fill in the triangles without that double line, the that black and white is going to look just black and white. But if you add a double line, it gives it more of a form. Okay, now back to doing some more uh, hatch lines. Now here, I'm not hatching towards the end of the pool, unlike earlier in this video. I'm hatching and then kind of fading out to the hatch. As I'm hatching and fading out, I'm lifting up the micron. This way, you get a sharper point on the, on the hatch lines. If you're holding the micron and you're drawing that line, and you're ending it, ending that line, pressing the pin down. You're you're gonna get a blunt. That line is gonna be uh, flat. Now here's the whole page. I'm gonna zoom out. Now take a look at some of the cross hatch lines on the columns in the back, and then compare that to some of the figure work and some of the ribbon work and the details on the clothing. That cross hatch line in the back because it's like a broken micron it fades further towards the back and it doesn't take away all the attention from the characters in the front thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions please don't forget to comment down below hit like and don't forget to subscribe until next time have a good time